Hi, Namaste. Welcome to the new Indian Express. This is Ramya Vennapusala and today we are in conversation with Hyderabad's one of the dynamic band, So Much To Carry. Welcome, band So Much To Carry. <laughs> Travel by your heavy mind The way forward it just feels like a climb So X Festival is just uh, days away So how do you feel participating in Hyderabad's uh, One of the biggest independent music festivals? Well, yeah, we are really excited uh, Yeah, we are actually very happy that someone is doing this it's been a while actually, it's been a long time, but yeah, we're uh, looking forward to see all of Hyderabad independent music taking off. And yeah, thank you IMP for uh, putting us on the list. We're, we're so looking forward to great site, yeah. What about you guys? Great, man. Yeah, it's been a while like, since we played on the stage, right? So, I can say it's a great drums. Yes. So, your band name is is uh, somewhat interesting, so much to carry. Uh, so what's the inspiration behind uh, the name of your band? And how did your journey start? Uh, how did you all guys make it uh, this far? So, so much to carry. We've been looking for a band name for so long and we tried to analyze, try to get like a deeper meaning of what we all represent. But it turns out it just happened to be. Since that we had a lot of gear to carry and wherever we used to practice it used to be on the top floor so we had to we had to carry a lot of things without a lift and go up and it just seemed fit that we named the band that it there's no intent for like there's no deeper meaning behind it but again it's open for interpretation at all times yeah. So, yeah. there were so, so many names that we were kind of disagreeing with there were so many band names that we were coming up with we had a new band name every week yeah. <laughs> yeah. And suddenly one day when we are picking our gear upstairs to one jam room, like we usually talk to each other like how 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 what how do you feel about this band name? And most of the time we were delusion. But when I said so much carry and when we thought about so much to carry, like suddenly it just clicked. So yeah, we yeah, went for it. We were kind of delusional about how it it would sound outside, but I think people like it now. Yeah. No, actually people dig it. Like every time yeah. we open for a band, like when they get to know us, they're like like every band can relate to that name in some shape or form because everybody has something to carry. Uh, yeah. So yeah, it's just it just turned out to be clever, but every like that was not the intention. Someone says the phrase "so much to carry." We hope they'll remember us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Johnny. Uh, David. So. <laughs> We all grew up playing in churches and uh, we all played together with each other at different points for different churches and stuff. And so Kevin had the vision that, you know, we should all try to start a band. So he, he, he nagged us for a couple of months and he was behind our case and then finally we decided, you know, let's do it. We, we were all at a show for, of uh, Black Shirt Blues. Uh, all four of us ended up yeah, in that show. Intentionally yeah, all of us we were all just we were so inspired by that music that day that we were we just looked at each other and like you know are we gonna do this or not? And that's how yeah. we started. We just uh, we jammed a lot. Our first first time we jammed, we wrote we wrote an original, so we knew we were going to be an original band from that day. So we uh, for that first jam, this guy didn't come on. Uh, yeah, so he was absent. I was absent team. for the yeah. first show. Yeah, we were also over it man for a long time. We did Zoom jam. We used to write our material and like share it on Zoom. Around the time we kind of formed the band, <laughs> lockdown hit. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, lockdown, a lot yeah. of our jamming and writing sessions were over calls. We didn't stop though. But the, yeah, but the small steps of online. discipline that we followed, at least like we, we had a lot of time. In fact, hmm. ample hmm. amount of time and instruments at our house, which we could. Goof around with and come up with something. After lockdown, we had a bunch of material that we all had, and you know, we were ready to hit the ground running. So, yeah. we just started writing a lot of music. We recorded a lot of music. A couple of them are out on all your streaming platforms. Yes, more in progress. More in progress. So, so much to yeah, 
India, we are grateful for people like IMP, HD, etc. who have been giving us these opportunities yeah. to perform in India. We have also been able to open for some some of the bands that have inspired us so much over the years. Uh, uh, I would say it's been a smooth run so far because being an independent band playing English rock music and original music in Hyderabad is like not many people are looking for that, but. Uh, we believe in our music. So Somehow we feel like yeah. we are making a small fan base kind of thing, you know, for our song. So yeah. We're happy with what, what we're doing. So yes. yeah, I think that's what matters in us. That's been our journey so far. So, so much to carry as a band uh, supports independent music in Hyderabad. Likewise, IMP. Uh, like IMP also aims to, you know, support independent music in Hyderabad. So how uh, you guys were associated initially? Uh, I actually knew IMP for a while now. Uh, uh, I used to play, I freelance with a band called Nawab Gang. Uh, they are pretty close to IMP, the organizers from IMP and all. So I used to play drums there. Uh, so they already knew me as a drummer. And then later when I told them that I have this other band uh, called So Much We Carry, we also play like independent music. And right, uh, he asked me to send over this stuff, Siddharth. And... Uh, we sent him all our stuff and he really liked it and suddenly he got us a gig in like two weeks or something. And yeah, they liked our stuff that day and they thought it was fresh sounding and all and yeah, they just, just like that, yeah. And that's how we build a relationship with yeah. Being a band supporting in independent music in Hyderabad, how do you guys uh, navigate challenges in music industry? Challenges, uh, I think we have a couple of points. Uh, yes. Take the list out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hyderabad is not predominantly, I mean, right now especially, I think is not, like Aaron said just a while back, it's not very, like a lot of people do not expect an English rock band to get through their evening. Um, because mostly it's now woven by a lot of regional bands playing in a rock setup or like a big band setup. So, I mean, demand-wise, we have a pretty low rating low over there. <laughs> but yeah, uh, at the same time, even even in fact, when we are releasing and stuff, we had to start small. But there is always that selective crowd which we had. True. And venues which were very selective, which choose, like, a lot of people who like our kind of music tend to come to those venues. So, we started off like that. And once they got to know us, they were also kind of involved and in coming more to our gigs. So that's how we started growing. But yeah, weirdly enough, there is still not much it's not like in terms of what our music a is. Crowd. There is crowd, but it's just like, there are not many venues that are supporting like English rock scene. There are hardly yeah. venues like the Moonshine Project, THD, some hard rock a few times, hard rock a few times. So it's not like there is no crowd, but... I feel like when you can push more towards the in terms of getting shows, because being a band, we want to play live, right? Yeah. As much as because that's the experience we're looking for. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we we have gotten a few shows here and there. Uh, but the main challenge is getting like a regular consistent show. amount of shows. Yeah, and also yeah, yeah putting our music out there. I think it's. Uh, it hasn't hit as much as uh, we would have expected it in terms yeah. of uh, audience reach. But yeah, these are all challenges that we knew we were going to face when we started the band. And we were okay with it. Uh, we, like, thing is, we did start out to like pull an audience yeah, and things yeah, like that. We, we were just, out. yeah, we, we were just inspired by us. Like, yeah. So that was we had point. something creative in our heads and we kind of wanted to work on it and put it out. So, yeah. it, come, audience and like, People coming to watch our shows and things like that is just a byproduct of what we wanted to do. Yeah. I think that's what kept us going for the most part. So much to carry as a band has had an honor to uh, share stage with many uh, big bands, right? So, though it was an opening act, how uh, did those experiences uh, influence your journey as a band? And uh, uh, what did you learn from your uh, the other co-artists? No one has started big. I mean, like, everyone started from scratch. So every time we spoke to them, it was more in terms of, like, they like our music and when we hear them speaking about it, who are kind of more established in the music scene, like, 
we are not at this point uh, it kind of brings us this like validation to our music that we are kind of on the right track and things like that and we've talked to a lot of people that we opened for like Bruce Lee money and all of these people like Mali uh, uh, Scrat and the best part is like all those bands that we opened for like we've actually been influenced by those bands. yeah exactly that's the point we listening to those bands and suddenly it was a really good opportunity for us to like for open for them actually yeah yeah yeah, yeah. not only really opening for them like we even like EXT was one of the great venue like I've got to watch a lot of shows from other people like from other places like pages and all like we've interacted with them and there's always something to learn while watching them perform and like trying to incorporate those things into what we're doing yeah <laughs> even watching them doing sound check was like yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. for us being able to talk to them afterwards and getting you know little tips from them. yeah uh, you know they talk to them about gear gear yeah, like, I was going to say also, gear we are allowed to talk about our gear so yeah yeah and I think mm-hmm. even these bands that we've opened for they've started off at the same place that we have so, yeah so they kind of get get where we're coming from they're happy to give us some advice help us out it's been really inspirational for us you know to be able to open for these big names so yeah it's been a great so far, we hope to be able to open for more, more artists, yes. more artists, <laughs> and get our own show also. Hyderabad's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. most happening opening. Opening band. Band. <laughs> that should be your title, actually. So, what sets so much to carried band apart from other various bands in Hyderabad? Hmm. Independent, original, <laughs> or music. original, creative rock from yeah. Hyderabad. From Hyderabad, yeah. <laughs> Bands, yeah, um, yeah I, I think we have that element of like we've grown up listening to Hy- like music in Hyderabad when it was a happening like rock music from Hyderabad when True. it was happening so we kind of have our own inspirations not only from Hyderabad but the music we listen to as well and when we came together it was more of not fixing the one uh, sort of music and like going with it but we had inspirations from funk from blues and everything so it's kind of trying to uh, gather everything together and bring out something fresh so yeah I think that sets apart because not everyone like all four of us listen to completely different kinds of music, music. and it's about just bringing all of them together and see what we came up with and I, I mean think the music is a byproduct of that we, we have a different kind of sound also like yeah a sound hmm. that I don't think a lot of people might have. So, yeah. So, yeah, it's a unique sound. It's like bringing together all of our influences. So, Kevin is a, you know, punk guy, crash as a huge pop guy, progressive rock, blues. Uh, but, yeah, so bringing all of them together, we, we made sure that there's a bit of everything in our music. Yeah, and our approach to music is also a little different. Like, I come up with something and then he has his own set of inspiration so he'll change it then Kevin changes it so it kind of <laughs> takes its own Shape. yeah shapes into a different thing so I think yeah. like when you listen to it keenly and especially if you're a musician listening you'll be able to catch that pretty quickly. Most importantly we don't like to compromise we want to stay original yeah. we want to keep it original and independent uh, yeah. and yeah we, we know the challenges that come with it but we're still okay with doing it that way I think yeah. that is something that would set apart, set us apart from other bands in Hyderabad. Uh, maybe uh, yeah. it's that you yes. know, yeah. we, we we don't want to change who we are. Yeah. yeah, based on the market and the demand and what things are. So it's important for us to be who we are. Otherwise, we cannot do what we do. Apart from original co- compositions, you guys also perform renditions of other, uh, of covers from various genres, right? So, how do you guys select those compositions? Is there any criteria or you guys just randomly do it? I think it's the songs that we listen to. I think yeah, the it's just and, uh, four of us yeah. listen to different music. I mean, we also have commonalities. It's not like everyone is completely mm. different. So, I mean, like bands like Winery Dog and stuff like that, we... Some, it's it's some bands we try all of us balance do. between yeah. rock and pop music and you know uh, we we know that we have to cater a little bit to the crowd so uh, yeah. Rasha loves pop music like he's he's the groovy guy in the band so he brings us a list of you know 
some more happening songs and then you know yeah. as like you know rock music that we grew up listening yeah. to yeah so yeah this songs that mutually we all like together yeah. is what we chose to yeah. cover we just give a sweet touch to it like it, yeah exactly like it's not only that it's bit of our own flavor to flavor to it so that also helps yeah so any composition of yours that changed your journey as a band or uh, shaped your career as a musician that one chord he learned i think he is using i think i don't know which chord which he plays for every song came in all so he's a band even though he's the drummer of our band he's the one who composes like 60% of our music yeah. so uh, every time he learns a new chord he brings <laughs> the <laughs> share song revolves around that chord so yeah we have two original songs out there but and, i think uh, one song that shaped uh, this thing was the it has to be tolo song you know more than one though. yeah but i think yeah because it's he said that sound with that ha huh, it's like the proper rock song like a typical rock song classic classic rock song yeah. kind of thing and like that's how people kind of look at us right now also at figure like because when they think of the band they kind of look at that skate park of that uh, you know so as many we chose that tourist song because yeah we wanted to put that out first just because it kind of represents us that yeah that was the one we chose to go first because we felt it represented what it has a nice catchy hook it has good melody it has some so, nice riffs going on the song oh, yeah. is called to do so It's on all your streaming platforms. Please yeah. yeah. check it out. We will also be performing it at the Ayam Festival. Bring some views and likes. Cool. Uh, so, can you also shed light on your uh, future projects, your upcoming projects? We have one single on the pipeline that we will be soon releasing. Soon meaning soon. It's soon, open right? for interpretation. Yeah, soon. Yeah, it'll happen. It's called Sunshine. Yeah. We're so excited. It is one song that we are actually pretty excited about again. Because we are, it's like a funk rock song. It has two genres blending in, and it's one song where we got to be a little experimental during the bridge part also. So yeah, that's all. Again, yeah, that is a song where even the audience, whenever we play the song. Whenever we play the song, actually, even the audience get pumped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whenever he does that, yeah, yeah. especially <laughs> he was pumping on the bass in that song. So yeah, definitely. Yeah, the single is gonna come soon, and we're working on an album. Um, yeah, we have an entire album worth of music. Yeah. Uh, in yeah. the pipeline, uh, hopefully soon. Like I said, this is another challenge of being an independently funded. <laughs> uh, it's the money, guys. Sometimes it's yeah, the money. Yeah, it's the money. Sometimes 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 it's the money. Yeah. 
find some empty spaces out there Waiting for a glimpse of hope There's a million reasons for you hate and for you to love now What you reap is what you sow And we'll drive out the darkness It'll make you feel better than I know And love is the power that we all need Everywhere and everywhere we go Spread love and kindness It'll be okay to do so It'll be okay Spread love and kindness It'll be okay to do so It'll be okay Looking for someone where you're in trouble and you're bent down. Someone's looking for it too. Spread this kindness offering you, offering you the end. What you reap is what you sow. Well, we'll try. We'll make you feel better than I know And love is the power that we all need Everywhere and everywhere we go Spread love and kindness It'll be okay to do so It'll be okay Spread love And kindness It'll be okay to do so It'll be okay We're not to worry If you let me Feels like falling off And I just saw my fall Oh, you're waking the snow Waking the snow I won't make you feel alone It's me you're looking for I'm right here, baby It's just all I've been Making the snow Making the snow, yeah Travel by a heavy mind The way forward it just feels like a climb You're fighting for a breath of time The shadows are just messengers of life Cause life is too short to wake up in the morning feeling lonely So love the people Who treat you right and never let them go You break down again and you wonder Is it ever not insane? It'll be alright, it always has to end You'll never be the same Cause life is too short to wake up in the morning feeling low 
So love the people who treat you right and never let them go. So thank you, thank you so much for your time. Uh, uh, thank you for share, sharing valuable inputs. Thank you so thank much for so having us, the Indian Express. Thank you yeah. for this opportunity. Thank you for letting us be out there. Thanks, thank you for exposing us here. also. Yeah. Thank you, Fat Cat, for giving oh, us yeah, a special thank shout you, out to IMP also for yeah. us, like, thinking about us and getting us this cake. Thank you. This is Ramya signing off. Uh, keep watching TNI videos.